everybody. Today I'm doing my grocery shop. I'm starting off at Superstore and I have my Tim Hortons coffee with me. I just wanted to show you a few of the deals I'm price matching here and what I would pay normally. If you see here, cauliflower, $3.98. I'm getting two of them and I'm price matching them to Dollar sixty-seven at Food Basics. I'm also price matching the tomatoes instead of two ninety-nine a pound. I'm price matching them to ninety-nine cents a pound. The cucumbers and four packs of peppers. I'm going to price match them for seventy-nine cents each instead of a dollar twenty-nine each for the cucumbers and. The peppers, I'm price matching them to $2.50 instead of $3.98, I believe. Actually, I can go show you what they are here. It's just on this other bin. Yep, $3.98. So, there we have it. Oh, yeah. Three pack of garlic for the loose garlic is $3.99 a pound. Or this one is $3.99 a kilogram, one kilogram garlic soda. I think I will take that and I will grind it at home and put it in the freezer. 10 pound bag of potatoes here for $3.99. That's my most I'll spend for potatoes. Usually I can get it for about $2.99. If I find it at another store that's an advertised special, I will get that as well because we go through enough potatoes and they won't go bad in a month. I always check for these 30% off. We love Torture Pie. So 30% off of, I believe it's $6.49. It's going to be about 4 bucks. That's a nice lunch with a salad. Did the same thing for these guacamoles. They are close to date. Um, they're good till Friday, May 18th. I'll just throw these in the freezer and they're good indefinitely. And that's about the month that we want for per person type things. My husband and I are really the only one that likes guacamole. My oldest daughter, maybe. So, four minis. It's about four dollars normally. Um, so it'll be about two something. And I got grape tomatoes. They were $2.48 and mushrooms were $1.67 and cilantro was $0.78. Cents. Those are the normal prices. So I separate my grocery cart as price match, price match, and store regular. Great price for, I think it's 500 grams of pepperoni. So I'm going to get that and put that for the freezer to make our own pizzas with naan bread or dough. I'm going to pick up this package of the Sub Trio meats. I haven't seen that for five dollars for a while, so put that in the fridge. They're good for you know till the first, so at least a couple of weeks. These oh, almost 250 mils. Here they're 349, but I'm going to price match them for go back to my shopping list. Dollar, dollar ninety-nine. So I will get curry mix, calmata, some s different spiced ones for salads and cold plates because it's hot out now. So we like to have. Oh, I was on a dollar ninety nine. You can't beat those prices. I'm gonna get another one of the kamada. We like those Greek salad, or just with all this feta. At your local store for their markdown bin. Here they do thirty percent off things. It doesn't look so great. These ones, some of them, eh. But it depends on the store. Sometimes that you can get, find some great things, like they'll bundle up 30% of whatever the weight and cost is. 
So if you're planning on baking and stuff and if it looks are like this, you can cut off the edges and 90% of this is still good. But I don't need anything that's on here. Let me check. No, those are just too ripe to be used. But no, it's always nice to check. That's how you save money though. Definitely getting these croissants. Got the cheese ones last time. Everybody liked them. So, and they lasted forever. And they didn't go bad. So I'm gonna get those. And also their French bread, Italian bread that's not cut it is a dollar. They also have some that's cut. So I'm gonna get that too. I'm gonna go buy two baguettes, two more. They're 94 cents each. I'll make bruschetta with the tomatoes. I got, I just have to remember to get some basil today. Yum. Crispy calamari, $5.99. I think I'll get that for one meal this week. My lunch videos, my kids love the um, yogurt tubes. few of those. Make sure the dates are far and away. June 13th. Sometimes June 12th. But <laughs> to get that's still 12. That's still something. Oh, well, get 12. We'll get only get a few. 12 and 13. Three should do two weeks. I always look here. For these red stickers versus the pink ones, that means it's even marked down more. So that's less than $3.99 a pound. $3.99 a pound is 8 media kilograms, so that's like about maybe $3 a pound. Because normal price is $16. So that'll be good. I was going to get ground beef, lean ground beef and pork. I love this mixture. $5.49 a kilogram. I'm buying a bunch of that. Love, love, love. I'll get three packages. I mean, ten bucks for a family pack. And some lamb. Special price. Two bucks for two pieces. Three bucks. I might get a couple of these for a meal. Try to find the biggest pieces. For six dollars for the protein it works on my budget I try and keep my meat for a meal under ten dollars and here's just even the regular price six nine nine a kilogram it's two something a pound so that's a good price and this is 949 a kilogram so that's about Four dollars fifty cents a pound. It's one of the special ones that's due until tomorrow. Top sirloin cap on steak. So if I cut those, cut one of those in half for my kids, and two large ones for my husband and I, I'll be steak on the barbecue one night. Oh, look, this pork collard roll, two eighteen a kilogram. Three dollars for this big, huge, what, almost. Three, one and a half kilograms, so that's what three almost four pounds. The dollar pound and that'll go straight in the freezer because I think it's probably because it's due. That's the due date, yeah, because it's due, otherwise, it'd be nine dollars a kilogram. Those weren't brown sugar and cinnamon, I don't know how cinnamon. Two dollars for breakfast sausage is a great price, but I'm unsure if those would go well with my uh, family. So I'm gonna leave them there. Actually, look here, 375 grams Italian sub package for 3.99. That's cheaper than the five dollar one I picked up earlier. 
So, and that was only 300 grams. I get sour cream, $1.49 a tub. Oh, and Snyder's bacon here. It's cheaper than elsewhere. I'll pick up a couple bacons. I want to get a less salt. I'll try the hickory smoke, less salt. Pork loin have a dollar ninety eight a pound, so that's four thirty seven a kilogram. I would get that if I um, didn't have some pork already in my freezer. So I'm gonna leave that here for now. But that's a great price. Actually, the meat here, the extra meat is even, it's supposed to be three forty eight a pound, but it's three forty nine. A kilogram so I'm getting that instead much better prices manager special at least six of these not six of these uh, four of these at that price 398 we like the light we'll do the whole as well but there's coupons for 50 cents off so that's my buy price for Hellman's so save three, 50 cents I'm gonna buy three because we'll be making a lot of pasta salads and stuff so it will not go to waste and then these PC salad dressings my family loves the green goddess it's on sale somewhere for $1.98 so I've got a price three ninety eight. that's about my buy price the most expensive I'll pay for that but I'm gonna price match them for $2.97 I'm gonna get those they're eight ninety eight for 24 double rolls so that is my cart. This is the stuff from the store, plus the toilet paper and the croissants. This is the stuff I'm price matching as well as down there. I'm price matching these Tostitos for $1.99 here. They are $2.98, I believe. Superstore has a special that if I spent 200 bucks, you get a free hanging plant. So my bill came over 200, just over, which is not unusual. For me for two weeks of groceries and this is at one store <laughs> i'm back at home i only shot in superstore because the other stores were crazy hectic and my camera was dying so i charged it so what i'm going to show you first is what i got from costco what i have to show you um the reef we were going to get a refill of one of our barbecue tanks and it's 12 49 I think plus tax um, let me see but uh, apparently they only re refill tanks that are 10 years old or younger um, so it has to be under 10 years well apparently my tank was manufactured in 2008 March so after paying for the gas after my big long receipt I had to go get a refund and then buy a new tank and then because they automatically charge for a new uh, gas refill. So the gas refill is two twenty nine for up to twenty pounds. And a new barbecue thing. So it was extra what I was not expecting to purchase today. Yes, Princess is apparently here. Wow. Say hello. Hello, she's like, you've been gone all day. Yes, I started grocery shopping at 11.15. It is now 6 o'clock. So, it takes me 7 hours. But that's why on grocery day, I pick up a rotisserie chicken at Costco. Usually, or some sort of thing I pop in the oven. So yeah, so a new barbecue tank is $33.99, plus an Enviro fee of $1.75, plus $12.29 to... Um, get the um, thing filled. So I paid, and then I got a Heinz picnic uh, mount, which was ketchup, mustard, mayo, and relish. It was on sale for six ninety nine. So you can't beat that price. So I'm going to show you that right now. Here is the new tank, which is nice. Is that they the new ones have these little indicators so I don't have to try and guess darn things heavy <laughs> so and here is the Heinz 
set here. I didn't really necessarily need it, but this is convenient beginning of summer. Things in squeezy bottles. Five nine nine so six bucks you get all four. Can't go wrong, right? And they're all seven hundred and fifty mils. So mint cheese. Over a kilogram. They were on sale this week. I don't usually buy chips in that at Costco unless they're on sale. So they were on sale norm they're normally seven forty nine with two dollars off. So five forty nine. That is a great price. So this Chicago mix was on sale. It's 737 grams. Huge package. Normal price $7.49, $2 off. So $5.49. This kettle corn popcorners. It is like two, 567 grams. It was on sale. I normally don't buy these, but I'm like, well, let's try them out. This one was on sale for. It's normally $5.99. Got $2 off for so $3.99 for this big bag. So I picked this up. Why? Because it's starting to get hot here and I wanted to get some easy cold things in my fridge for those nights that's going to be too hot to actually cook where we can have meat cheese crackers or dips and veggie veggies you know dips and, and bread so this one's a sweet and spicy crab spread so my youngest daughter and I will eat that as a special treat I've never seen this one before so it must be new for summertime so that was $12.99. So not bad, but not a great huge price. But this guacamole, holy guacamole, three containers. One, two, three. It was on sale. Well, I think it was regular price um, at Costco. But one of these at the store is $4 or $4.99. The guacamole is $9.99 for three of them. The hummus, one of these hummuses is four dollars at the store. Might even be a smaller container. This is 565 grams. Here it's two of them, and it is 699 for two of them. So, this brie cheese, it's a smaller one than I usually buy, but I looked at the price per gram, and it was like a dollar two per hundred grams or something like that so for so 450 grams instead of 600 grams but it was on sale so i got two of them for they're normally 769 with two dollars off so they were 569 each cream i got four creams dollar 95 and here is a saint hubert it's a canadian classic um Creamy coleslaw, five seventy nine for this big huge tub, one point two five kilograms. And these I buy all the time. Every time I do groceries, eighteen tortillas, one point one kilogram. They don't stick and they last forever. Like this is still good till the seventh of June, so more than two weeks away. And they last past due date. So the Tortillas are uh, four fifty nine for eighteen. I can get ten for about three bucks. So so three something. So or eight or ten. So this is great. Just three chicken. For seven ninety nine, that's how much rotisserie chicken costs at Costco in Canada. Two Villagiano Texas toast type breads, nice soft style. This was for this is normal price for four forty nine. At the grocery store this week, I could get 
this brand for two thirty a loaf. See, even on sale, it's still cheaper at Costco. I got the Kirkland coffee. Absolutely love this. Paid eleven ninety nine. And this nest tea, I don't normally buy it, but it was on sale. Again, I get suckered in to when it's on sale. It's normally eight sixty nine at Costco, which is still cheaper than the grocery store. This tin normally is ten bucks. The grocery store two dollars off, so I paid six sixty nine. So this will be good for some fries. Nine point four pounds of fries, four point two five kilograms. My husband's favorite favorite fries, the extra crispy flavor crisp, or whatever it is. It was actually on sale, so they're normally nine fifty nine for this big bag, and two dollars off, so I paid seven fifty nine. This 10 piece thing. I needed a, I needed one of these. I've broken one. I have a few things that I need. I need some more tongs. And another I just, I just need a few things. And at our dollar store they're two or three dollars each. But this was on sale. I just came across it was twelve ninety seven. So when you see the ninety seven price, you know they are trying to get rid of it. And this was on sale, the cordon Swiss cheese chicken. So eight of them they were on sale for seven ninety nine. They're normally nine ninety nine. Um I picked this up for my husband and him. Big huge bag of pistachios, 1.36 kilograms for $19.99. This pineapple, I contemplated getting pineapple at the other store. That was $2.99. I'm like, eh, okay. This one is twice the size at Costco for $2.99. So I picked that. And then I picked up two of these barbecue tools for cleaning the barbecue. One for myself and one for my father in law. They were $19.99. I have one for my father in last Father's Day, and um, the other one for, you know, us. Here is the, the list. I also got two movie tickets for two adults with two popcorn and two drinks um, for $28.99 each, because we're going to go see... Um, solo on solo when it comes out and um, it's gonna I'm gonna take off the it was $13 with tax from there because it's on the other one but I paid two eighty nine seventy nine so minus thirteen dollars so that would be two seventy Six seventy six. Here, thirteen eighty nine. So take off fourteen dollars. So it will be two seventy five. Propane and the propane fill up fee and the Heinz picnic thing. So I'm going to take the thirteen eighty nine off the other one and add six ninety nine to it since there's not tax on it. So now we are at Freshco's Produce. So I got 10 pounds of onions, and they're huge onions this time, so they're little peeny, peeny ones, for $4.99. Strawberries, a pound was $1.88, so I got two. I picked up some puddings either for dessert or kids' snack on Friday. $0.99 cents for four. I got chocolate. I got butterscotch. And I got banana flavor. They had green onions for $0.50 cents a bunch. I put them in a glass jar and they keep on growing for at least a couple of weeks. So... You could plant them also in the ground, too. I picked up two parsleys to make tabbouleh. They were $1.29 each. I 
picked up two basils. They were $1.29 because I'm going to make some um, bruschetta. And celery was an unadvertised special, so I got that for celery sticks. Probably just for me, but maybe for my family who have some veggies and dip um, next couple of weeks for a meal, because I know it's going to be hot some nights, and instead of just having salad, we can have veggies and dip. They had shredded cheese for $3.99. I got some, a couple mozzarellas and a nacho blend. I got this big bag of, of carrots. It was... Pounds were $2.99. Onions, which is like your French's fried onions. I get them in the international aisle. 400 grams of them for $2.29. So much cheaper than the French's I bread. I'm going to go to Bulk Barn to get my spices, but I was not going to go there today, and I was needing this for some dishes. Um, the Graham Marcella, I'm completely out. Um, and it was. This 400 grams of it was two twenty nine. Oh. This one's a sandwich trio, and this one's a pizza. Trio, three different types of meat. They were 400 grams. I paid $3.99, so a penny gram, that's awesome. And then these ones were smaller packages, 300 grams of bologna, $2. This one was 175 grams of the mac and cheese loaf, $2. And salami, 175 grams, $2. So lots of little deli meats for meat, cheese, crackers, cold meal. Got some. This one's uh, Meti Gotta frozen chickpea and uh, better Greek leaves spiced dumpling. So that will be good for an Indian meal. Uh, picked up. That's two twenty nine. And then there was these little samosas. This one's chana dal, and the other one is potato samosas. There's 50 little cocktail samosas. Um, they might even come with a sauce, possibly. <clears throat> Don't know. But the samosas were on sale for a dollar ninety-nine for each bag. So I can make a meal, a vegetarian meal of this, 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 and non bread and some dipping saucer butter chicken sauce for under ten dollars and that's already pre-made stuff so I mean that's awesome um, <clears throat> another thing I picked up which absolutely love at the restaurant is some frozen oxtail to make curried uh, oxtail um, Caribbean restaurant that we go to makes this and it's to die for. So the gravy of it, so it's gravy and meat, and you use a bread and, the, and make rice and beans. So I picked up two packages of these to make one big meal of them. That should usually feed our us family plus leftovers. It's more of an expensive thing, but yummy. Something different. And then 
actually had a small thing. I went to Freshco first before Costco. A small thing of crunchy green coleslaw. It was a dollar seventy nine, I believe. Oops. Uh, yep, dollar seventy nine. And I picked up tofu for a dollar forty nine to make my husband wants me to make hot sour soup, so I'll be making that with tofu and yep. Dollar forty nine. Which I found out today though. Food basics tofu is a dollar twenty nine. So next time I won't get it at Freshco, I'll get Food Basics, a different brand, but I wanted the farm anyways. Usually half of this container I'll use for hot sour soup, and the other half I'll use for making pad thai. These fruit squeezies, this store brand was $1.99. There's the other basil for $1.29. The crunchy bars were $2. So 10 bars, but it's really uh, 5 packages of two crunchy bars each. The garlic powder, again, I usually get at, at the um, bulk barn. I was not going in there today, and I'm completely out of garlic powder. And this stuff, I love the powdery stuff versus the granules. I don't know why. But it's two nineteen, so I figure two dollars per 200 grams. A dollar 100 grams, not bad. So, this Ahmad tea, the cardamom tea, as well as the Earl Grey. My husband loves this Earl Grey. We make iced tea with it. It was on sale for $4. This big, huge box of uh, 100 bags. And I figured I'd try the cardamom tea, which will it's probably like a chai tea. It was also $4. So, again, can't go wrong for $4. Now, some other things. There's some different things in here. <laughs> oh, another fruit squeezy for $1.99. Another crunchy granola bars. These ones are for my husband. They're two bucks. Um, a bag of four avocados. They're small. They're they're not ripe. So they'll have plenty of time. I'm going to be making some Mexican bowls in the next week or so. Whenever these go ripe. <laughs> Basically. Whenever they're ripe, I'll be making them. <laughs> and... They were actually not a bad price. Um, um, they were two forty nine, so basically sixty cents or so each. Not bad. I picked up this green Mexican sauce for enchiladas or something like that. I'll have to Google what to use it for, but um, there I picked up two of these small jars, two 20 mils, so just under a cup. They were 88 cents, so I'm like, uh, can't go wrong there. A thing of canned peaches. So my husband wasn't liking the peach cups because they were diced. So this one was two twenty nine for this big, huge uh, can. 796 mils um, of ha peach halves and grape juice. So one day for supper after supper if we want something sweet kind of dessertish we'll have peaches we're not big now has anybody tried these before pickled tender cactus i was like ooh, that sounds interesting 750 mils i'm guessing it would have a crunch like a pickle um but it was a dollar nine nine i believe it was on sale for a dollar I'm like, oh, sure, I'll try it. For, for two bucks, I'll try anything. <laughs> if we don't like it, well, we don't buy it. And then they had these fava beans. I want to try the Americana quality ones to have as a side with if I do um, Mexican or whatever. It was 69 cents for that can. It's a small can. It's smaller than our, it's about the size of our gravies. Not our normal cans of beans, but it's a bit smaller. And it was 69 or 67 cents. Yep, 69 cents. 
And then I looked out a bunch of my favorite Sean uh, curried mixes. So the meat Marcella, the chicken Marcella, and I picked this up for kofta, for kebabs, for all the ground beef I got at Superstore, which you'll see. <laughs> Craziest prices I paid. These were on sale, because I think they were changing the packaging. They were on sale for 88 cents each. So you can't beat that price. Got some nan, that non garlic brand. They were 99 cents. Normally they're $1.50. And I usually get them at Costco. I get 10 packaged, 10 for like $2.99. But I thought they had the garlic ones. I'm like, oh, those would be great. Just toast it up with some sauce. If I, and maybe chickpeas, the vegetarian curry. They had some pita bread, fresh pita bread for 69 cents. And they had the lemon loaf for um, $3. No, $2.49. It's normally $3. So that would be a nice dessert. And then Vilgiano buns were $2.29. I picked that up. And my total. I'll show you my total now. <clears throat> Fresh coat. My total was $121.99. And the total savings from just the store was $21 even. The basics. They had three romaine lettuce for $2.50. So two for five bucks. Two. Uh, cream cheese was $1.99. Yogurt was $1.99. Mouth chicken's my husband's favorite. Just five dollars. And my youngest and I like blood pudding. This is really good. It's nicely finely ground. There's not big chunks of this brand. And it is 683 for this whole bunch. These mandarins were 388 and the big jar of peaches 1.7 liters was 499. Here's the seat. I spent 29.66 at this store. This is the last store I went to because I pretty much got everything else everywhere else. So now we are doing the stuff from Superstore that you saw. Some of the things and the deals and the things I was price matching. So these tomatoes I price matched for um, 97 cents a pound, 218 a kilogram, and this whole bag of, I got, I think, 12 tomatoes for $4.77. A huge bag of tomatoes. This turkey thing was 14 cents. Can you believe it? You pop in the turkey, it tells you it's done. Any type of... At Thanksgiving, they're like two dollars, so you can't beat that price. That will just go away for next time. I do a turkey. I was gonna get a big box. They had a big box of these crackers. My my kids like the crackers with the cheese, not the breadstick ones. For like eight dollars, I believe, for like twelve of these. 
think, or eight or ten of them. But I figured I'd grab two small packages. These were a dollar. $1.29. So I picked up two for kids snacks for the next couple weeks. Molasses. I need some molasses also. It's a good source of iron. Well, not a bad source of iron, but 4% iron. I don't know how many grams of iron or whatever. But I am, personally, I'm anemic, so I need iron and that was I was right. The mushrooms, these my husband absolutely loves. So I pick them up when I go there. They're a dollar oh eight a can, so ten ounces. Got two of them. The shaky cheese. My oldest doesn't like the the real Parmesan petals. She likes the shaky cheese, so I picked this up. This is four ninety nine. Sorry, four ninety eight. Yogurt tubes were a dollar ninety eight. I was going to price match them to ninety nine, a dollar ninety nine, but they were cheaper. The mixed peppers, I price matched them for two for five dollars. The crackers, they were the no name brand of the Ritz crackers were a dollar fifty. I got two of the peppers. The sour cream was $1.48. Price match cauliflower to $1.77. These um, pigeon peas, they're frozen. They um, in the Bahamas when they do peas and rice, it's sometimes with these. So because my dad just said you put pigeon peas in them. So I decided to try that. The big bit of garlic, $3.99. There's like 4, 8, 12, 15, 9, uh, 8, 4, 8, 16, um, 24, possibly. And you saw the bread's a dollar, the baguettes, 94 cents each. Mushrooms were $1.67 each. I price matched these for 79 cents. Cucumbers. The cherry tomatoes were... match the olives for $1.99 the cauliflower and the cilantro 78 cents toilet paper 24 double rolls $8.98 the calamari
was five nine nine. This torture pie was six forty nine minus a dollar ninety five, which is the thirty percent off. And then mayonnaise was three ninety nine with fifty cent off coupons. So three forty nine more crackers, dollar fifty, dollar ninety nine. Two ninety nine baby dills with garlic. The mini guacamoles were four ninety nine minus a dollar fifty. So five dollars dollar. So three fifty and those were three ninety nine. Cheese croissants were five dollars. So look at the steak. Top sirloin cap off six oh four. And if we lift up the original price of how much it was because it's due tomorrow. Twelve sixty five. So that's nice steak. Ground beef, three forty nine a kilogram, six twenty six for this whole amount of beef, almost two kilograms. The pepperoni for pizzas, six ninety nine. So this is at least two meals, if not three. So two dollars a meal or three dollars a meal. You can't beat that price. Chicken thighs were six ninety nine a kilogram. So this whole package was seventeen dollars. Best before the twenty first. So that's just going to go in the fridge, and I will put that in the freezer once I make some room. That'll be at least three meals because there's two layers. Look at this. I saw this deal. Only one. Two eighteen a kilogram. Three seventeen. This the other ones were seven to nine dollars. Can't beat that. So Italian sub, three meats, three seventy five grams. Was three ninety nine. And look at this of the cubed beef, seven ninety seven a kilogram. So that's about three three something a pound. Not bad for stewing beef. Um, four fifty-seven. So this is one meal. So I always look for my protein to be less than ten dollars per meal, and this would have been their normal price of. Let me see if I can see. What it was. Nine fifty one. So half price. So when you see these stickers they're about half the price of what they don't have. So this package was six twenty five. This one's six twenty seven. And that one is six twenty nine. I have, I'm taking away from my bill a 621. I picked that up for a friend of mine. So I was there. And then this for a special meal. Picked up two, two packages of two lamb chops, already seasoned. Three dollars a package, three thirty-three for one, three dollars. So that's one meal. So that's six dollars for that meal. And then Schneider's bacon. I picked up the fifty percent left salt. They were three ninety nine a package. I picked up two. But here chips. I price matched them for dollar ninety nine. The salad dressings. I picked up two green goddesses. One avocado with lime and jalapeno. One zesty Italian. One Mediterranean. And. 
since these are with bacon. They were $1.99 each. We were running low on salad dressings. Thought we would try some new ones. And these are my husband's favorite cheesies. Canadian real cheddar cheese. Hawkins. Three individual bags. 420 grams for $3.99. They were normally four. Four twenty nine there. I price matched them for three ninety nine at shop. And here is my list. Um, oh, also picked up the Coke Zero. There was two for nine seven cents, right there. Um, the salad dressing. See, the prices in Canada are usually expensive, but if you shop the sales any given week, you can find good prices as long as you live in a city with more than one store. If there's only one store, you're kind of stuck unless you want to travel further. But look at this prices of meat. I mean, I just filled up my freezer with so much meat. So I'm going to take away six twenty one. That was I picked up for my friend. And then I had the hanging basket, and they took it off because I got free because I spent two hundred thirty five dollars and forty one cents. But I also made three, four, five, six, seven thousand points today in points. So I have about nineteen dollars worth of points. So here are my totals. I had two twenty nine seventy nine. I took out the gas that was charged in there. So it was two fifteen ninety and I added in the condiment thing, which was six ninety nine. So it was two twenty two eighty nine for Costco. One twenty one ninety nine for Freshco. $225.89 for Superstore, $29.61 for Food Basics, minus $621 for the ground meat for a friend. So my total was $484.41 total. So this is at least two months, two weeks of groceries. Um, my grocery budget is about $200 to um, 250 um so basically a total of like 900 dollars a month um give or take now in this amount the amount from costco there was gifts for um the barbecue scraper um things that are not food which are not really part of my budget per se but they're added in here so I mean if I took out $40 of that I'd be right under my on my budget because 40 it was $19.99 per barbecue scraper so I'm doing $450, $450 but since my last grocery haul which was three weeks ago I have stretched and I had extra so I did not use my grocery money um, or a lot of it at my last grocery haul I have picked up a couple of things at the store or used the money for other things like plants for the garden and stuff like that so this is the total of my grocery haul and this will probably I'll be doing another grocery haul in two weeks which will be May 29th or 30th. Um, so, and that will be the last one before um, my shelf cooking and uh, pantry cooking. But even with that one, I don't think I'm going to, I'm just going to do a top of, of things that I will need, like steak spice, basically spices and stuff like that. Unless I get good deals on meat again. <laughs> I mean, that was crazy amount of good deals. So, that meat will last way more than two weeks. So, if you like grocery hauls, 
please give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day, and see you on the next one.